Hey folks, here we are back at the uh, Tottenham Sontag, which is a Locker Mode published game. And I wanted to give a quick little recap, recap where three quarters of the way through the first turn, the turn has, each turn has four couplets or impulses. And I wanted to share a couple of little things that I'm beginning to notice here with the game that are pretty interesting. I mentioned to you in the first video that you had this uh, requirement where you were at the dice, where each side rolls for a specific, uh, rolls for initiative in the turn. Where is the other die? Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Here we go. Uh, rolls a die, each. And in this particular instance, the, uh, the Commonwealth side rolled two, and the Axis side previously had rolled a six, and so they elected, no, that was the turn before, uh, where they elected a, for a two last turn, uh, but they rolled a three this turn. So here's where this starts to get interesting. <clears throat> Highest number goes first, but only those units that are three or higher with their initiative factor, here's a three, here's a five, here's a five, here's a two, uh, are going to be able to activate. These guys roll the two, so all of their guys will be able to activate. You can see they're all uh, threes and fours and fives. Where the Germans are uh, for anywhere from two to five. If you roll a six in this game, you ain't moving the entire couplet or impulse uh, of the turn. So that's one quarter of the game turn that you won't get to activate or do anything. So the Germans are actually in a very good position now because 80% of their units can move, maybe, maybe not 80%, but all, only the two rated units cannot do anything this turn. And most of those are in the backfield over there. And everyone else is pretty much up on point around here. And over the last couple of turns, the, the Axis forces have moved through the escarpment here and come around from Gaza al Ared this way and they're going to try and intercept some of these forces here and, and take them on in combat to slow down the push on the gap further up this way. Clearly if you control this pass here you're going to be able to then attack through this next pass and capture these two VP locations and exit units off the board. In the meantime, the Italians have engaged the armored forces down here, these guys. One comment I will make about the counters, they're very functional and clean and crisp. The only issue I have with them is if you see at the very bottom that unit, desi unit designation right there, that's uh, actually quite difficult to read in all but the brightest light, and I know I don't have 20-20 vision, but given that you actually do need to be able to read that number, that unit, desi unit designation, now where was this? Over here. <coughs> it's a, could have, uh, a larger font would have been a little bit nicer, minor point, not a big deal. Uh, the, only, the other thing that I, I don't like about the game is that the map is split up into two two parts. I don't know why we couldn't have had a four fourfold single sized map. Would have been nice. That's probably a printing machine issue. I'm assuming because uh, these maps I think are done in house. So anyway. Not a big deal. Everything else is great. I love the uh, the charts and all that sort of good stuff. Everything is very easy to use. You can actually play the game off of this single player raid and one of the charts that's on the table on the uh, on the map. So that's all I wanted to do to share uh, how things are going so far. It's very interesting. Uh, choosing well, you don't really get you don't have choices to make so much as uh, you're choices are forced upon you when you roll for initiative because you may have a plan about what you want to do in a given turn, but if you roll higher than your opponent, you're first of all, you're for, forced into moving first 
uh, and you may or may not want to do that. And secondly, because you roll higher, you will have less units available to you to move. In this particular instance, in this game turn, uh, both sides roll very low, but the Germans got the advantage because they rolled low, but they rolled high enough that, uh, uh, that they got initiative and they'll get to move most of their units. So pretty interesting stuff going on here. I, I'm liking it so far. Talk to you soon.